Hello and welcome. So today I'm just going to do a review, well the first review of the DX Commander Expedition uh, version. This is the version that uh, the DX Commander gave me for review. So in the, I'm going to provide a completely unbiased uh, review of the DX Commander Expedition uh, poll and kit. Uh, in no way have I been bribed or um, in, in any way favoured to uh, do a positive review. So, um, as with the full D DX kit, you will get a box of goodies. Now, today I'm not going to start making this kit up yet. Um, that that's for a later video uh, what i wanted to, to do today was to have an initial look at what's in the box but then also um, to do a load test on the actual pole itself to see how uh, sturdy the pole is so today is just a look in the box and a load test on, on the, the main pole but, you know we get a lot here to uh, enable us to actually suspend the wires on on the actual pole um, what one really important piece of kit with the uh, DX Commander is the connector from the uh, radiating plate um, <clears throat> to you know the the, the SO two three nine because um, I know for my own experience this gets a lot of battering it gets a lot of um, tension um, especially when the uh, radiating plate spins round on the pole this gets a lot of twisting going on so with my DX Commander 7 meter version uh, it's weathered quite a lot of um, battering so again this one is really well made um, it's it's it uses it uses like a resin or glue here uh, as well as the heat shrink to offer more, you know, a lot more protection around because these areas are quite vulnerable to a snapping. So that's uh, that's well protected. That is, that's really important. Um, lots of heat shrink. Uh, again, um, the instructions on the DX Commander PDF explain all of these parts, and you're able to actually count the parts that you need so that you know you've got a full kit. So your first job really is to actually go through the PDF go through your kit and make sure that you've got all the right bits because I've I've been there with uh, Cal and he's a really thorough uh, chap with all of the bits he knows these systems inside out um, but he's human so you might get more than than you need uh, usually um, there will usually be, usually be more than you actually need in your kit as I know from my my past experience because that's just the way that that uh, Cal tends to think, well, if you need six of these, let's just put eight in because you never know, one might break or anything. So you tend to get extra bits in. Um, I found that when I was actually um, trying to solder the D10 wire into here, that the soldering iron I've got, the, the, the soldering tip, is too small. So I, when I build this kit up, I need to buy myself a new soldering um, iron tip uh, so that I can really get the heat on there. And I've also got a crimp, you know, the, the proper crimp as well for that. Um, more bits for the um, suspend the wires on. Uh, and then we, we have two plates here. We have the, um, <clears throat> we have the radiating plates. Um, which is yeah um, radiating plate and then also uh, that, that's the um, radial plate and that's the radiating plate yep yeah. um, and then th these are spreaders that sit up on top of the pole as well so um, I, there's, I, I will go through this kit and make sure all the bits in here but um, I was there when a lot of this was being packed so I'll do that at a later date so uh, just when you first get the kit make sure you got all the bits um, Carl's very supportive you just send him a, uh, an email if there's anything missing and uh, he'll rip that in post but usually usually get more than you need anyway um, that comes that comes nicely boxed boxed obviously um, 
I'll box that later. We also get, I just wanted to have a look at this pole because it's a, it's a wonderful piece of kit, this pole is. And uh, this is a, because it's a de it's an expedition version. Uh, it's a shortened, uh, collapsed um, length. Um, I'm not sure what length that is. Um, uh, it's about three quarters of a metre. I haven't got my tape measure. Uh, it, it, there's a fair bit of weight in it, uh, you know, it's a solid piece of kit. Uh, I have noticed when collapsing the DX Commander pole that you have to take your time, really take your time collapsing the elements down because sometimes the top, like many, like many of these telescopic poles, the top section can sometimes slide and get caught within the bigger sections at the bottom. It can drop in and get caught between this outer section and the next the next section in it drops in between there sometimes or or the next one in but then when you try and fold it down it just crushes that top section so take your time with that one so ideally what we what I'd like to do is do a low test on this pole and um, before we actually build up the rest of the DX commander but that's only if we know somebody that's brave enough to actually go out in adverse conditions and uh, set a pole like this up. Yep, so um, we're just out of here uh, at the campsite. I'm running uh, 80 meters uh, using the DX Commander. I'm using DX Commander Expedition Pole, but I'm just running a, a 20 meter wire and a, a 20 meter uh, counterpoise into a tuner. Just for this, uh, this trip out, I'm uh, having some luxury camping. Playing a bit of radio. Uh, I've been doing a bit of two meters as well. Uh, I might even walk up to the pub and get myself a steak and a pint. So yeah, so this is the setup with uh, unbelievable Jeff uh, with the two meters on top and uh, running an eighty meter station today. So I'll put a few a few more calls out and then I'll uh, head to the pub. So uh, running the uh, DX Commander, it's got a fair bend on it, uh, so running a 20 metre wire, um, going to the back of a tuna. That's a fair bend that is, on the DX Commander. DV, 73 is bye bye. Yes, yeah, 73 is an AP2 sounder and it uh, certainly sounds like a very enjoyable setup. And uh, uh, enjoy the, the rest of the weekend. Uh, so this is uh, TV0, TGI, no clear with uh, DCR MC. Secure, 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 secure. This is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Portable. 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Portable. Call it secure. Still a microphone call. Uh, well, okay, lucky for some then. So the DX Expedition pole uh, responded very well to a 20 metre wire running up to the top, 10 metres up to the top of the pole and then down onto a fence putting out the, the pole at quite a, a, a bend. And there was also a, a lot of crosswind as well. But uh, the pole performed uh, very well under those conditions, by the seams of it. Um, the again, the the only word of caution is when you're actually uh, collapsing the pole, is take your time with it, uh, like any like any of these telescopic poles. So up to now, the performance of the actual hardware itself uh, has has been very good. Um, all of the kit is is here. Uh, the instructions are very clear on the website. So the next move for me is to start to construct the actual fan dipole part of the DX Commander. So I'll do that at a later video as well. I hope you found this first review of the DX Commander Expedition version useful. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed, can you subscribe to the channel because it really helps me to get more content out there. So looking forward to the next one and I'll uh, see you soon. So bye bye for now.